Hello, beta testers. It seems that a trailer for a new custom harm room has gone up. It has everything that you might expect it to have with difficulties, uh, being able to select the enemies. There's the option to have some buffs, which uh, seems to allow you to toggle invulnerability on so that uh, maybe you pass a controller to a little kid, he just loses his mind, has a lot of fun beating up uh, enemies in this room. But unfortunately, what I am not seeing are modifiers, which would have been a slam dunk for the types of people that are gonna wanna build specific hero, see how they perform in scenarios. And for me personally, holographic environments would have made this damn thing a slam dunk. You could make this one room look like Asgard, Latveria, Wakanda. You could make it look like the deck of Alicarrier. It'd be this perfect little contained showcase. This room, if they had bothered to give it environments, would have sold a hell of a lot more copies. It really sucks. Avengers needs a win right now, and I'll be the first to admit, the real wow factor here is the sheer volume, the quantity of enemies that it seems to be able to manage on screen. How this is gonna run on console, we really need to see. And if this infrastructure is in place to be able to handle this sort of thing, it's not like the environment should be particularly demanding in this room. <laughs> so there's my unfortunate, honest opinion. It is great to see something happening, but this isn't even like a full step in the right direction. It's like a half step. Why even implement harm room customization if you're not gonna allow people to choose their modifiers knowing how eager the tryhards are to test their builds? Why not allow this one room to have different environments with the platforms? It'd be a photo mode extravaganza. That's all you people seem to retweet are photo mode posts. Give the people playing your game what they want. And to be utterly and completely frank, if you're intending to keep the changes in place that keep us from completing our weekly challenges in the harm rooms, then what the hell is the point of us coming in here to big dick flex on robots? Like, you know some people are going to be very excited about these changes coming, but who honestly has use for a custom harm room without modifier? There's no date here anyway, as usual, so we can just expect soon, and to some people soon is six months plus. What I hope they do is bundle an update like this with the ability to replay the campaign, so at the very least, some of the people who really care about this game can take some pictures in story mode, can go back to the helicarrier, can replay that Iron Man mission. This game is out of touch, and worse, the community is out of touch because a lot of the people talking don't know what they're talking about. What a shame. Thank God everybody's being real about Outriders. That's how things get better.